Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again today. Today's a little bit different video. It's not so much automotive stuff or overland camping or anything like that. It's more off grid. So this is a video I wanted to do for a while just because there's nothing on YouTube that I can find about solar air conditioners. So if you're not into off grid stuff for household stuff, you could probably just click off this video. But for those that are, I've just got home from work. The guys have finally got the um, panels installed on the roof today. So we've got eight 300 watt panels up there and they're strictly DC current that's running this air conditioner, this new system that we've got. So I'll run you over the system. I'll show you some of the install of the guys installing it a few weeks ago. Um, we've only just now got the solar hooked up today, like I just mentioned. So I'm gonna run you through the unit and it, it basically, you can run it on AC or DC current, whatever you choose, or it'll switch back and forth when there's not enough solar. So it'll always choose solar first. So we've got it strictly hooked up just to DC current, but we can later on hook it up to AC if we want. So we've got our panels facing kind of northwest for more of the summertime because that's when we're gonna mostly use the air conditioner. Not so much in winter, we usually use the, uh, the wood fire heater inside the house. So that way we get more of the afternoon sun. Like right now, it's coming on six o'clock in the afternoon and the air conditioner is still cranking pretty hard. So we've got it turned right down to 16 degrees and this is the first day we've actually ran it. So the panels are up down the roof, as you can see, and they've got plenty of sun left in the rest of the day. So we'll go inside, I'll show you the inside unit, and um, then I'll show you the unit on the outside and um, where the, the PV connectors, the solar, is actually going into the unit. So as you guys can see up there on the roof, we've got four on this side, and we've also got four on this side. So we've got eight in total, 300 watt solar panels running the air conditioner. That's to get the most out of the unit. That's that's what we've been required to put up on the roof. So let's go have a look at the uh, the unit. Okay, so this is the unit here. So it's a five kilowatt unit. And right now it's cooling our four bedroom home. As you can see there, AC-DC solar air conditioner. It's um, currently on 16 degrees. And it's uh, cooling the house down nicely. So it does come with a remote, um, just like any other split system air conditioner. The company's called, I think it's Superine. You have a bunch of different functions on there. So it can do pretty much everything that a standard split system can do. So we're just at the outdoor unit now. So that's the uh, conduit and wiring running back up into the internals of the house. But it's a very quiet unit as well, which is really good. So we've got our solar isolator here. We've also got an isolator on the roof. And there's your uh, positive and negative PV connectors running into the side of the unit. And then you can also run AC. So we don't have the AC hooked up yet. It's just ran into the uh, meter box. So right now it's purely running off the PV connectors. As you can see, it's a uh, condensation there, so she's very cold. So as you guys can see here, we have, um, that's one of our large solar banks. We also have the, uh, the wind turbine, and then we have more solar banks on the back side of our generator shed. I'll just come around here and show you them. So the Solar bank in here also doubles as a chook pen, but that's our normal solar bank for the battery systems. And then we have more solar up there. But as you can see, the reason why we have faced the panels west for the air conditioner is because these panels here are now facing north. And as you can see, there's no sun on them. So these panels right now 
have no sun at all. So, so as you can see, the panels on this side of the house purely are for the air conditioner only. That's their only function. And they're up there with our, um, our hot water system as well. So that way, right into the afternoon, the air conditioner is going to be getting power. So it's a really good option for those people that live completely off grid um, and want to run an air conditioner. I know a lot of people try to get just the normal AC 240 volt split systems to run um, on off grid systems and it's really hard to do it. Most of the time your generator is going to kick in and stuff like that. But if you can get a system like this that we've just installed and basically beat the heat during the day um, that way your house isn't heating up. So like there's, there's gonna be days this week that they're predicted it's gonna crack 38 to 42 degrees and we can have the air conditioner now running all day inside and it's not gonna run the generator or anything. So in the long term they will pay for themselves, um, but I'll leave uh, their website up. Um, if you are interested in getting one, it'll be in the description below. Um, but yeah, so. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different. Um, not so much the automotive stuff I normally do, but basically, yeah, we do live fully off grid here and I just thought this would be something really cool to put up on YouTube to show people that you can actually do solar air conditioners and they currently do have them now on the market after so many years of me waiting for them to come out. So finally got it installed, got it cranking today and she works a treat. So I'll give you an update probably in at the end of summer, let you know how it went over the whole summer period. And um, if we had any dramas, but um, yeah, everything will be in the link to, in the description below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you.